Welcome to Hull on Derivatives, developed by John Hull, the world's most respected expert in the area of financial derivatives. During this module entitled Futures Contracts and Hedging, we introduce you to a highly popular exchanged traded derivative instrument known as futures. You will learn that futures contracts are agreements to buy or sell an asset during a future month. Unlike forward contracts, they require a performance guarantee in the form of margin. If the rules concerning margin are not followed, the trader's position in the futures contract is automatically closed. You will also learn that futures contracts are used to hedge a variety of different exposures that arise in business. We will look at a number of different examples of this and discuss how well the hedges perform. As with all modules that form the Hull and Derivatives series, you will find a series of interactive features throughout the module. These features are launched from screen text hyperlinks or via hotkeys like those now appearing along the bottom of this screen. These keys offer interesting facts about financial markets, opportunities for you to test your understanding of the course materials, links to Excel applications, and references to John Hull's best-selling book entitled Options, Futures, and Other Derivatives, published by Prentice Hall. At the conclusion of the module, you are invited to complete a competency exam. The exam consists of a series of questions very similar to those found within the quick quiz hyperlinks found throughout the module. We hope you enjoy futures contracts and hedging and other modules of the Hull and Derivative series. Futures are like forward contracts. Both lock in the price that will be paid for an asset at a future time. One significant difference is that futures contracts are traded on exchanges, whereas Forward contracts trade in over-the-counter markets. Futures contracts are traded throughout the world on hundreds of underlying assets. These assets include commodities, foreign currencies, bonds and stock indices. A contract is referred to by its delivery month. For example, the December gold contract is a contract where the parties are contracting to buy gold in December. It is the exchange that determines the delivery months that trade at any given time. You may be asking how a futures contract comes into existence. Let's consider an example. On June 5th, you might call your broker to buy two December gold futures, which trade on the comics division of the New York Mercantile Exchange. Since each contract is for delivery of 100 ounces of gold, you have in effect asked your broker to buy 200 ounces of December gold. Your broker would then pass your order on to a trader at the exchange. This trader would signal to other traders a willingness to buy two December contracts.